Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. You have multiple tasks in your SSIS package such as task 1, task 2 and task 3. If your task 1 or task 2 fails, you want to send an email to, you, to your users. But if task 3 fails, then you want to truncate all the tables which you have loaded in the SSIS package. How would you do that? So let's go to the SSDT and take a look. Right now I have data flow 1, data flow 2 and data flow 3. As we know that when the package executes or runs the events are fired on the package level on the task levels and on container level so we can use those events and by using the event handler panel we can send an email by using those events so let's go to the event handler now and select the tasks on which we want to send an email we do not want to send an email on the uh, package level so we have to select the executable that's a task one data flow task one and we want to send an email when this fails so let's select the uh, event on task failed so if task failed we want to send an email and bring the send mail task here and that's how we will be sending email for the second one we have to go back and select the task 2 and do the same thing uh, what we have done uh, for the task 1 as we are sending the email for both of them so if uh, any of task 1 or task 2 will fail what will happen uh, we will be using uh, the send mail task uh, on, on task failed uh, event uh, and uh, sending the email the next part is uh, if your uh, third task will fail uh, you do not want to send an email you want to truncate the table so we have to select uh, the data flow task 3 in this case and then uh, we have to go on uh, task failed that's the event we are selecting here and then uh, putting the event handler uh, and we will be using execute sql task and inside the execute sql task we will write uh, um, you know uh, all the truncate uh, statements for the tables we want to truncate and we will uh, sorry this is a send mail task I drag it again uh, let me drag execute sql task here okay so we have execute sql task we have to make a connection to the database where the tables are and then we have to write uh, the sql statement such as truncate table table name and all those uh, truncate statement will be here so in this case uh, when your package will fail on task one it will jump to the event handlers and send an email if it will fail uh, on uh, uh, task two it will jump to event handlers uh, and send an email and if it will fail on a data flow task 3 it will jump and truncate all those tables so that's the relationship between executable and event events so on each of the executable like task or container or package you can select uh, different events and uh, you can have different tasks uh, such as execute sql task send email task or uh, you can use uh, uh, any other task what you want to do and perform the actions uh, right here thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video